I'm going to be comparing three Mont Blanc pens, the 114 Mozart, the 145 Chopin, and the 146 Legrand. These pens have been reviewed often, but I'm going to put them side by side to show you some key differences. Right here on the bottom, I have the 114 Mozart, which is the smallest pen that Mont Blanc makes, following by, followed by the 145 Chopin, which, a, which is a classic size, a standard size, and the 146 Legrand, which is a little bit oversized, but not as big as the 149. These two pens are from 1999, the special edition 75th anniversary. And this is a regular 146 that you can, they can still get in store. Regardless, these two perform and are the same exact dimensions as the standard one. As a normal edition, they can get in stores today. The only difference is that it has an extra gold band on the top. And the, the nib is a little bit different, but that's it. So everything I say here will hold for any 114 and 145 and 146. So the 145 is a very thin pen, but it's, I think, found some pen users have gotten spoiled because this is about the same girth as a regular ballpoint. You know, those big pens that come in multiple colors. Well, this is about the same width, and it's very comfortable to hold, especially if you're used to using a pencil or, or a ballpoint. It's a little bit small. It's a little bit short, but posted, it's a good size. The 145... It's almost the same length as the 146. Let me stand them up. Well, the camera's tilting. Hold on. Well, that's the best I can do. So, well, they're basically, there's only maybe like a quarter of an inch difference in length. It's not that big of a difference. But the girth is significantly different. The 146 is fatter and the 145 is relatively thin compared to compared to fountain pens. Uh, for extra size comparison, I will also put a vanishing point here. This is a, I'm sorry, this is a Pilot VP, which I, is a very common pen, so I'm putting it as a size comparison. If you see, the VP is the same exact, or almost the same size as the 145. The camera angle makes it look like the, like the 145 is smaller, but really it's, it's basically the same. Posted, the 145 is is quite longer than the one than the, than the vanishing point, especially because when you retract the nib, or I mean extend the nib, you lose a little bit of length. So, these pens have been reviewed often, so I'm not going to get into too many details about them or about the body. I'm going to talk about things that I think make them special from other pens. The 114 is one of my favorite pens. I love the build quality of it. It's made of metal, or at least the body is made of metal. And it has a very clever design where the cap is threaded, but it only takes maybe half a thread, half a turn. Let me zoom in. I mean, let me focus it. It only takes about half a turn to actually engage, or a quarter turn to engage the thread to make sure it's locked in place. And on the back, it has the same mechanism to screw in the cap so that it stays posted securely. I appreciate that it's metal because it's very durable and also I like that the the ring here with the threads are not at the very tip so that way they don't get rusted if you dip this in ink or um, or in general a lot of pens that have a ring at the end will have rust after a while when the when the plating gets when the plating gets um compromised some ink will go underneath and eventually all your plating will fall off which is very bad design um, so this one doesn't have that problem the cap is made of plastic, but the body is made of metal. One thing that I really appreciate about it is that the inside is made of metal as well. Everything is made of metal except for this tip over here, from here to here. And you can fit in, well, this is cartridge only, which is the downside. But it's not that bad if you, if you know how to refill cartridges. Since this is the 95, I mean the 75th anniversary edition, the, it has a... Oops, a uh, very nice two-tone nib. Let's see if I can focus this. Oh, there we go. So there it is. That's really the only difference, and then the extra ring on the top. Most most 114s only have one color on their nib. This is a two-tone nib. And also, we have this little extra band with a diamond on the top that says 75 years of passion and soul. It's very nice. The diamond is beautiful. Well, no, the diamond is not beautiful, but the accent of the diamond is, especially with the ring. 
Oops, sorry, I keep moving the camera. Okay, followed up, we have the 145. This one is made entirely out of plastic. Mont Blanc calls it precious resin, but we all know what that means. And like I said, it's not it's not too different from the 146. The only downside, I think, when well, it's not a downside, the only thing that that is that we should take in con into consideration is the nib size. If you look at it, uh, hold on. Okay, so the nib right here. Sorry, the nibs have a little bit of creep because I'm using Noodler's Heart of Darkness or Noodler's Polar Black, which creeps a lot. So comparing these two nibs side by side, the 114 is the smallest pen on the market that Mont Blanc makes, and it's one of the smallest pens in general on the market. And yet the nib is basically the same length as the 145, and the 145 is almost double in size, and you know almost double in price. <laughs> so. The 145, the only difference of, in nib is that it's a little bit wider. Now this might be a downside. Some people like it. I know I've met a few people who like the 145 that the nib is not too large. But I, I guess that's just personal preference. So I wouldn't call it a downside. But really that's something that personally I think they could have made the nib a little bit bigger. Especially for a pen of this size. But other than that it's a great pen. It also has, since this is the 75th anniversary, it also has the thing on the top with the diamond. And it says the same exact thing, 75 years of passion and soul. Two-tone nib. It's great. One thing that I really appreciate about it, even though it's made of plastic, I mean, it doesn't matter that it's made of plastic. I like that. It's kind of light. I like light pens. I really appreciate the converter that it's a screw in. You, if you just try to put it out like this it won't because the converter screws in place so I'm not gonna take it out because there's ink in there but one thing that I really like is if you see these threads here it's metal threads and on the inside we also have metal threads on both the 145 and the 114 you saw that that there's metal threads inside and outside which is really um it should alleviate the mind because if you have metal threads on plastic threads, sometimes if you over tighten it, the metal will crack the plastic around these edges, and then that will kind of screw up your pen. So that's a great design feature. Also, the 145, if you take out the converter, you can fit in two cartridges in, one backwards for storage and one in use, and it's a very great idea. Um, to show what I mean about the metal on, on plastic threads, here's a, a Sailor pen, and it has metal threads, but plastic on the inside. I've never seen a Sailor crack. I think Sailor makes very good pens, but I know that on some other models the metal will crack the plastic. So great design on the 145 there. And finally the 146. Well, there, There's not much to be said about this that I think other people haven't said. It's a very good size. The nib is fantastic. Let me compare the nib size to the 145 nib size. There we go. Okay, so the 145 nib is significantly bigger and wider, and also the feed is bigger. I think the feed was very similar on the 114 and the 145. Uh, so this is piston filler, has an ink window. Uh, that's you know, it's a whole other conversation, but this is in general the difference between the 145 and the 114 with the 146. The nib sizes are all there side by side. One thing I don't like about these pens, or one thing I think Mont Blanc skimped out on, or maybe that's just their thing, is that the stars are always the same size regardless of what pen you have. It's not like the star will increase in proportion to the pen body. So I think it looks a little bit weird if you have a big pen such as the 149, which is even fatter than the 146, and the star is still the same size. So it doesn't look as nice. I think the star looks best on the 114 where it looks almost like a crown and it covers and it, you see it slopes down to the sides of it. It looks really nice. And I know Pelican and Sailor, well I'm not sure about Sailor, but I know Pelican scales or Pelican logo according to the cap size. And I don't see any reason why Mont Blanc wouldn't be able to do that. They just want to keep it a standard size. But other than that, there's no complaints. These are great pens. I'm not going to do a writing sample because the nibs are very personal. And, and honestly, there's so much variation from one nib to another that 
that a writing sample is not going to really help compare different pens. But that's all I have for today. If you have any comments or suggestions about the new channel, please you know, leave a comment. Let me know what I can do about it, how I can make these better, and thank you for your time. Bye-bye.